Good NLL matchup on the pitch. Anthony Wayne marching into Perrysburg. First half, Generals with a one-goal lead. Zach Kemmer throws it in, bounces around, finds the foot of Darren Sparrow. He had a hat trick over the weekend, finds the back of the net here to put Anthony Wayne up 2-0. Later on, Perrysburg looking to answer before the half. Generals play tough D, but through pass to Matthew Zinn. Bit of an awkward shot, but gets it in. Yellow Jackets down, just one heading into the break. Second half, Perrysburg looking for the equalizer. Keegan Motter fights through traffic and connects. And it's tied at two. Less than 90 seconds left on the clock. Yellow Jackets looking to complete the comeback ball hit into the box. They're battling around for it. Shot ends up high. And this is how it ends. Jackets come from behind to come away with a 2-2 draw. I mean... We let it, we let up in a couple early, but throughout the game, I, I, we saw our grit and our perseverance in our team fighting back from down 2-0, which is pretty hard to do. We would like to go undefeated, go into the tournament, coming in hot, and being a force to be reckoned with come tournament time. Mason Lowry and Chris Black have more. Well, as far as entertainment value goes, you can't beat the last 80 minutes of soccer. You would expect nothing less from two of the area's very best teams. Yeah, on the replay or on demand, make sure you start at the beginning of the game. Start, don't don't get popcorn. Start at the beginning. Pause it till you get playing because it was up and down the field for the first 20 minutes, and then then it switched a little bit, right? Anthony Wayne taking to him, then Perrysburg uh, running away with that second uh, part of that first half. And then second half all to play for. Yeah, you have to really admire the fight back from Perrysburg. We made the comment on air that for all the things that they do well, the way they want to play is to knock the ball around and be patient and possess it. Those teams aren't always built to come back from two goal deficits. This one apparently is because that's what they did tonight. They've done it before. They'll do it again, I'm sure. Yep, and, and that sets into the tournament. They're playing really good soccer. They're playing technical soccer. So if they get in that type of match, they can play that way. And uh, they've weathered the direct storm when Anthony Wayne went direct as well today. But all those ties, that doesn't mean anything which go playoffs as long as you're good at PKs. So I'm guessing maybe they're working at PKs just a little bit, just in case, because a lot of ties so far this year, but still undefeated, which is something to say. Yeah, these two teams tied the battle, I guess you could say today, but Anthony Wayne has maybe won the war. If they win their last two conference games over Maumee and the rivals from Springfield, they're NLL champs outright, and they will have deserved it if they do. Yeah, and it's fun for them. Then that's a last before the NLL kind of gets reset anyways and, and jumbles up a bit. So that's something that they obviously want to do, and they'll set them in a good situation too for seeding going into the tournament, which is really important if you need to take a break or if you want to pick your site where you want to play. That's important to really have that extra little swagger in that room, say we're NLL champs. No, by the way, we haven't lost anyone in the area. Things like that mm -hmm. go a long way. Really entertaining match tonight out here in White House. It ends 2-2 between Anthony Wayne and Perrysburg. We'll send it back to you.